if you aren't exposed to the joys of being outdoors and seeing what's out there, how can you possibly appreciate it? I have an ethic about it, about its preservation. So always there has been and always there will be a dependence upon a minority, a small minority, for yelling about it, for crying about it, for weeping about it, for pushing about it, uh, to save the, what, what, the remnants out there. We're standing in one of the few open areas because when we bought this old farm in 1956, gee, that's a long time ago, there were so few trees on it. If we looked in the direction of the pond down here, When I planted this old barren farm, right after I bought it, uh, it only had about three acres of forest out of the 98 acres. But now, it is a nature preserve that is absolutely balm to my soul. It really is. So many times when I look down over a valley like this, where this pond is located, where an old creek probably ran 150 years ago, and I see the changes that have taken place, the lushness of the growth now, none of it really uh, cultivated, it's like that clump of cardinal flower there. It's not a rare plant, but it is an uncommon plant. Bringing something like that back to land like this and watching it make its place among the reeds and rushes and grasses and burrs and briars and swamp marshmallow and that sort of thing is it just sort of satisfies a, my withered old soul it really does to think how long it was gone how long it was absent from this particular area during a hundred years of of pasturing and farming, and now to see it revert, uh, it, it does something very, very good for me. I'm sure I'll not be awarded any medals for it, but nevertheless, I'm satisfied with the results.